anchors up, sales at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? Doing okay. Kyle, we're going to die on a couple hills. So if we're going to die, let's get a little bit. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. I'm going to keep saying that way after it stops being new, by the way. Just a warning to everybody. I will keep saying that until I stop doing it. But, you know, let's, let's is, have a, is that the hill? Is that the hill you're going to die on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the hill. That's that's today's topic um, that I'm like sticking to bits too long. And that I will die on the hill of sticking to bits too long. Well, before before we go, before we go into our topic here, uh, there is there is one bit of Buckeye news here. Jared, Ohio State okay. does add a does add a four star transfer to the safety room here, a uh, former yep, yep. South Carolina safety, uh, Keenan Nelson Jr. Heading on over to Columbus. Absolutely. Uh, they needed some depth in the safety room. Um, you know, they had Inky Jones uh, playing. Who and I think he's a, a great player, but he's a walk on from Steubenville. Um, but like he got a, he got a ton of time in the spring. Um, they they. And again, I'm not I'm not disrespecting Inky whatsoever. I think he's going to play a lot this year. Um, but you need some additional safety depth if your second string guy is a relatively young walk on. Yeah, but some, but some bad news, though, looking at the 25 recruiting class. Uh, Blake would be decommits from Ohio State. I I don't know if I said it during our last mock or not, but I know I've said it in the Discord server, discord.thesloopcast.com. Always be plugging. Um, I know I said it in the Discord server. I looked at, at the cornerback room and I said, we're not going to finish with all of these guys. All of these guys who are currently committed, we're not going to finish with all of them. There's too much you know, a little bit of smoke here or a little bit of smoke there. We're not going to finish with all those guys. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then, the, and then the last news here before going to our, into our um, meat of the episode here, Jared, uh, Ohio State defensive assistant, uh, Brandon Jordan, no longer with the program. Yeah. I, I can only speculate as to what happened there. So I'm not going to, that's right. Right. straight up, straight up the answer. I'm just not, I'm just not gonna, um, by the way, I really like this beer. Um, this is from the brew kettle, which is up in a Cleveland suburb, um, major logger. And it ha it's for anyone who liked major league, you understand the iconography there. Yes. All right, Kyle, let's, uh, let's climb a hill. Let's, let's plant a flag on said hill. And then let's uh, defend it with our lives. All I'm right. going to go first, if you do not mind. Go ahead. So NCAA 25 is coming out. A drought of 11 years, no NCAA football game. Mm -hmm. And everyone is very excited. We all miss the NCAA football games. The, the news I have, especially for the people who are approximately Kyle Nye's age. If you have maybe not been playing video games as much as you used to because you're a grown up now. The EA has gone all the way the hell down the hill. We're up here. We're going to die on this hill. They're at the bottom of the hill. They fell. Mm -hmm. EA Sports fell off a long time ago. Madden has sucked for a long time. One of the it reasons why you have a good Madden came out. I, you know, everyone has a different answer for that. But what I can tell you in sort of researching this game is the absolute latest version I've seen that people said, no, this version, this version here was actually good was Madden 25, which was not for the year 2025. 
It was the 25th anniversary, which I believe came out in 2014, 2015. Um, confusing naming on that. Very. Um, I, I've seen people go as far back as 2004. I think that might be a, a bit of a stretch, but the the latest one that I can find people like mostly mostly suggesting is a good one is is the one that came out i think it was either 2014 or 2015 um ironically when ncaa football died and i'm gonna tell you right now what happened two things one thing we we didn't really see the effects of until later this happened earlier, much earlier than the bad fall off, but it was the start of the fall off. EA Sports got the exclusive NFL franchise video game rights for Madden. There were other games out there. There was 2K um, was the big competitor. I think quarterback club had already fallen off the map at that point. It wasn't all that good anyway. But uh, there was the 2K franchise, which, of course, still makes a very popular basketball game. Um, but they have, once Madden got exclusive rights to NFL Sims, an NFL simulator, they had no more reason to put out a good product. The second thing that happened to the Madden franchise is that they started the... Uh, what what I will be referring to as the mutt for the rest of the for the rest of this, which is the Madden Ultimate Team, which is like a card pulling picking game, and it's microtransactions, and it's that kind of it's it's pay to win. Yeah. Honestly, like if I were to play it, Jared, it's if just solely on just local local playing i wouldn't i wouldn't care about oh. online playing oh you know it's funny you should say that kyle because franchise mode in madden has been broken for years like unplayably broken for years we're talking about no new features it's not broken but it sucks but it, they basically just been copying and pasting the same old franchise mm -hmm. mode yeah, for yeah. many years yeah. now where the problem being that like the simulations have broken down over the years. They don't really work anymore. So you get a lot of unrealistic, stupid Sims. Um, it was stuck on a single difficulty level, which was way too easy. So you're not really going to have that much fun with it. Cause you're just going to be destroying teams left and right. Um, and it was just plagued by all sorts of bugs that would put you into loops where like you might have a successful uh, a, a successful year. This is a thing that happened a lot, um, especially after your first year, you play a year and then you you as the coach would be fired. Even if you won the Super Bowl. Be a free agent coach and then never be hired and then you just have to start over. Wow. There is another one where it would loop the draft over and over again and you couldn't progress past the draft. There was another bug where you just your your file gets corrupted. <laughs> you, I literally saw someone post on Reddit when I was sort of researching this. They're like, I was nine years into a franchise and my file corrupted. Ouch. That and sucked. this has been happening with the franchise mode for as far as I can tell since about 2019. 2018 where the franchise mode just became garbage and EA hasn't fixed it. Why hasn't EA fixed it? Because they're fully 100% focused on the Madden ultimate team because that's what's making them money. The money's in the microtransactions. The money is people playing head to head online with their Madden ultimate teams. That's where the money is. And again, if you're Kyle and I's age, if you were, you know, 
a huge fan of NCAA football when it first came out and you're getting a little up there in age and you haven't been following all of the video game stuff, microtransactions are what make money now. This is why so many games, say Fortnite or Fall Guys or any number of games out there, they're totally free to play. These games are totally free to play. Well, how do they make money? Oh, advertising probably. Nope. Just microtransactions. Now, at least a game like Fortnite or, say, Fall Guys, um, Rocket League is is like this too. Um, when Rocket League is a ton of fun. But... At least there, when you're doing the microtransactions, they're almost entirely cosmetic. You're not paying to win. You're just paying to fight uh, as a, you know, just, but you're dressed up as Thor from Marvel or you're dressed up as Eminem. Just like, but you're, you're, you're still just playing Fortnite, but you have a goofy skin on. That That's where they're making the money. The problem with, the Madden Ultimate team, one is because it's EA's, it's Madden, it's the Madden dev team's entire focus because it's what makes money. But also that it's pay to win. So unless you're doing the microtransactions, you are at the very least at a severe disadvantage, if not totally incapable of competing with the people who are paying to win. So not only do you have to pay $70 for for the game. But now you have to buy these card packs and what is I'm sorry. And I see Esquire's in the chat. Um, he and I have had a conversation, I believe, in the past where why this doesn't technically constitute gambling legally. It doesn't constitute gambling, but it's gambling. You're paying for these packs. You don't know what you're getting out of them. You're hoping for a big pool. It's gambling. It might not actually be gambling because you are getting something, I believe, is what Esquire says. It's not technically gambling because you get cards. And we actually were talking about Pokemon, I think. But it's the same concept. Where it's you're you're still getting cards, so it's not technically legally gambling. It's just that maybe you hoped you were getting better cards but you're still getting cards. Therefore, uh, Odin says, I just hope they've taken these past 11 years to hear what the cult fan base wants to see and single player mode and online dynasty. Cause if they don't, that means even more money. Well, uh, EA sports has already announced that there is in fact a, I, they're not obviously calling it Madden ultimate team. Um, the bring glory home ultimate team. Uh, or uh, that's the uniform item that comes with one of the versions, but there is an ultimate team. And so I'm just, if you're wondering, Hey, Jared, why is Jared talking about Madden when he's supposed to be talking about NCAA? Well, this ultimate team bullshit is also going to be present in NCAA. This is confirmed. We know this. Yep. This is what will make them money. This is what they will focus on. If you and if you're like Kyle and you're like, well, I just want to do my franchise mode. The Madden franchise mode has been broken for conservatively five years. Their big announcement was so yeah, and they by the way, NCAA uh, or EA just did an announcement. This is partial. Actually, we are we had I will die on the hill. I will die on this hill on the schedule for for a minute. Uh, so it's not why we're doing this episode. It was just good timing. Um, but they did just have a big trailer release, which, by the way, just going to toss this out there. It looks terrible. If you compare that with what video games look like in the year 2024. The new Madden Madden, I said Madden, the new NCAA game looks terrible. Uh, but. Again, Esquire says their big announcement was so much about the damn packs. I got news for you. That's because the game is going to be about the damn packs. I'm sorry. So why, why is Jared talking about 
Matt, why is Jerry talking about Madden? We're supposed to be talking about NCAA. It's confirmed. This is just a reskin. And of course, they're going to add. Oh, and you've already. And by the way, EA knows Madden sucks and EA knows that people. will keep paying for it. Well, they, they, they also know that. But what I'm saying is they know that Madden has a bad reputation. So if you go and you look, if you literally Google, uh, will NCAA 25 be different than Madden? There's all of these like paid stories about how all of these things will be different about it because they know that the Madden name's a bit tarnished. So they're trying to tell you the NCAA is going to be different. But but really, if you then look at the details of what's going to be different, it's just like, well, you're going to recruit players instead. And there will be a college playbook instead. So they're like an add a read. So they're, they've done some different plays. They've added some read options. You know, maybe they've added a, a you know, a triple option for the for the service academies. So like they've added they've added some. They, they basically dusted off the old wildcat formation stuff from when that was big in Madden and was big in the NFL. So they dusted that off and they imported it into the new NCAA game or they just still had all the animations and stuff from the previous game 10 years ago. I need gameplay reveal to be uh, fully opinionated on it. That's the other problem with the big trailer release. There was very little actual gameplay in it. And why was there very little actual gameplay in it? It looks terrible. I'm sorry, it looks terrible. And again, maybe if you're old like Kyle and I are old and you haven't maybe been playing video games for the past few years. Maybe you're like visual standards haven't kept pace. But like the game shouldn't look like it came out in 2014. And I'm not saying it looks exact. It, it looks better than NCAA 2014, but not enough better compared to how good so much stuff. I just go, go watch some gameplay from like the new Spider-Man game. Go watch that and then rewatch the NCAA trailer. It looks terrible. The animations look bad. The graphics look bad. What do you think about running animations on Madden? I personally hate it and it looks weird and unnatural. That's the main thing I hope isn't it's going to be an NCAA. It's just a reskin. They they added some stuff to make it college football. Of course, they've added stadium atmosphere, yada, yada, yada. But if you if you just think about the actual gameplay. It'll be a different playbooks. Sure. But at the end of the day, it's just going to be Madden. With different uniforms different stadiums, a slightly different playbook. It's just going to be Madden. And by the way, the current user score, the current user score on Metacritic, and I think everyone knows what Metacritic is um, because it's beyond video games. There's Metacritic for movies and TV and everything else. Um, The negative reviews are sitting at 87%. 87% negative reviews on Metacritic for the new Madden game, for the new for the latest Madden game. This is for the Madden game. Yeah, no 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 no, that's not on you Odin. I didn't I didn't say that correctly. I didn't say that correctly. Again, we we don't know what we I keep talking about Madden because it is confirmed. This is just a reskin of Madden. This is this is confirmed. We also know that Madden doesn't change the base game very much, if at all, from year to year. So if last year's Madden is god awful terrible. And I've seen I've seen some terrible videos and clips of just how unpolished it is and just. Yeah. Poorly optimized. Things just happen, happen out of nowhere. 
So again, 87% negative reviews for the latest Madden, which I'm sorry, I will have to be convinced otherwise mm -hmm. that this new NCAA right. game is going to be that much different. But just some 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 stuff here. Um, this is from uh, Metacritic score, uh, Metacritic, Metacritic user Lysol. Um, Madden's been on a down, downward spiral. Uh, Mutt, uh, the Madden Ultimate Team, uh, has turned the game from a fun football game with friends into a cash cow microtransaction filled mess. The only possible way to enjoy this game is through franchise mode, which isn't great. Um... But even if you do this, the game is still a buggy mess with loads of server connection issues, weird glitches. Um, it's unplayable and rage inducing. Uh, this is from D Moore 93 on Metacritic. The CPU intelligence is lackluster. Players will stand idly by and allow quarterbacks and receivers to blow past them. This is from Stanley 381 on Metacritic uh, franchise has been dead for years. It's blatantly obvious that EA does not care about this ga game or franchise and hasn't for years. Uh, the first five minutes, it seems way better, but then you actually play it and see the game uh, has the same broken animations over and over. Uh I don't understand how it's 2014 and they've had over 20 years to develop and improve this game and its gameplay, but it's, uh, still being beaten out by games by uh, from 15 years ago, such as 2K. He's, he goes, I don't play Madden Ultimate Team. Um, that mode is just play to win. I buy it for career mode and franchise. Both are in the gutter for superstar mode. Uh, sure, the combine mini game. Sure, the combine mini game that you do once in the beginning um, and never think about again is fun. He goes, but all the mini games that come after that, once you're actually in the league, essentially, um, you just keep having to repeat the same mini games over and over and over again, and it becomes repetitive and boring and there's no replay value. Um, this is from Webhead Gaming. All EA cares about is profits, not if the game is functional at launch or not. Just keep buying those Madden Ultimate Team cards and gamble and spend countless money on the Mutt Packs. Mutt is all that matters because money. I could probably just copy and paste this review every year, and it's going to ring true for EA uh, as long as EA has the uh, exclusive NFL license. Um, from Drew's... HK Drew's HKA. I'm going to assume that is um, they have removed so many features from the franchise and player modes, trying to force all the dummies in the world to play with the card pack modes. Uh, this is the worst Madden in years. I think you're delusional. If you're sitting here thinking, well, Jared, maybe the NCAA game will be better or different. This is these are reviews for last year's Madden game. I think you're delusional. And I'm not even telling you not to buy it. Buy it. if you want to buy it, buy it. I'm not even telling you not to buy it. But with it, but with it coming on such limited availability, you can only buy it on two consoles. Yeah, it's, that's the other thing. I, it is now it is. This is currently a rumor. This is currently a rumor. But the rumor right now is that it's uh PS5 and Xbox Series X only and won't be released on PC. Um, this game's going to be bad. And if you want to buy it, buy it. I'm not telling I mean, you not to buy it here. But here, here's my advice. Here's my advice to you. Wait a month. Wait a month. I mean, from their own web, from their own website, Jared, there's only two options to pre-order. Yeah. And by the way, that uh, the news story uh, that was from GameRant.com, and, and they say right now that it's according to a leak. This isn't official, but according to a leak, uh, it won't be available. Listen, I'm just saying, wait, I'm just saying, wait a month, wait until the game's been out there for a month and you get some some feedback from some other people if it's even worth buying or not. Mm hmm. 
That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is wait a month. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. All right. And with that, uh, we'll take a, with that, we're going to go ahead and take a quick break here, Jared. And we will, we will cover uh, some other people's um, hills and if they're going to die on it. Okay. And I'm going to die on this hill, but here's the uh, ad break. And we're back. Kyle, before we do that, I just some responses in the chat. Esquire, are sports physical uh are sports physically hard to animate, mocap, whatever? Uh they do try to uh do they try to make it look realistic? Feels like it can't be significantly different from open world RPGs. Is it just games like Skyrim, Call of Duty, uh have competition and Madden does it? I would say there's unique challenges for a football game that aren't present in the examples you give, but also yes. So partially, I will say there football has some unique challenges that those don't have to deal with. But at the end of the day, yes, it's about competition. Uh, Odin says for me, I'm gung ho, but keeping NCAA just in case that's perfectly fine. Um, I mean, I'm going to buy it. If it uh, I'm going to buy it, if it's simply uh, for being a college game uh, for the ease of play, but I'm prepared for it to suck. I mean, as long as you're prepared for it personally, I don't own a uh, next gen console. Uh, and I'm just I'm sure as hell not going to buy a next gen console just to play this game. So if it's not coming out for the play, if it's not coming out for PC, I'm, I'm just that's the nail in the coffin for me personally yep uh see i already have a ps5 yeah and that obviously changes the equation a lot for you but anyway kyle has some hills he wants to die on so we have to move on <laughs> um well they're they're not as big of hills as like what you with, with your rant there jared um the, the hill that i'm going to die on I, so i had like three minor ones here but i'm yeah i think I, I think the the one that I want to talk about here, going going back into Ohio State theme here, going back to Ohio State theme, uh, I believe that Ohio State, in the next ten years, uh -huh. in the next in the next ten football seasons, Ohio State will win two Natties. Ohio State I, I true, win I true. two Natties in the next ten years. Now, as a franchise, Ohio State averages about one every ten years. Tossing that out there. And it's and it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. That's simply not true. Um, that's the current trajectory. Yeah, I don't mean since the beginning of the franchise. The Ohio State was garbage until Woody Hayes showed up. This is a known fact. Uh, well, that's what you fucking said. I wasn't going back <laughs> to the beginning of time. Wasn't going back before World War One, World War Two. Wasn't even going back before Korea. Um, <laughs> you know, Kyle, it'll be interesting to see. Um, it'll yeah, be interesting it's, it's, to it's, see. It's, it's frustrating with all the. I know there's many Ohio State fans out there. Just frustrating to see that with all the talent Ohio State has had in number of years here and we've only seen one we've only seen one in the past 20 years here no it would be and it well okay yeah in the last 20 years we've only seen oh, one here oh that's that's some very selective math on your part <laughs> it, it is it is but but with with all the talent though i'm like, just we're we're two and a half we should, decades. We should, we should have seen more. We should we should have seen more. Yeah, Ohio State did go to the national title three other times. Lost um, where they where they lost those three two and in, in the two thousands and then one just recently here. But God, it's it's tough. It's tough to to see all this talent and then you come up short. And Ohio State should should have should have more than just two the, in since this millennium. I agree, based off of the amount of talent 
Um, 2015 is inexcusable in many ways. The amount of talent that was still on that team. Um, 2022 was a very big missed opportunity, but Kerry Combs was going to carry Combs, I guess. Um, sometimes it's as simple as a bad defensive coordinator hire, but the offense that year was insane. Um, yeah, it's, it, and it's also, it also I just mean, sucks that you existed at the same time as Nick Saban. Like all of this, all of this skill existed when Nick Saban was at his most Nick Saban. Um, it just made things, it made things difficult. Um, it's sort of like, you know, th think of an NFL franchise who was really good during the Belichick Brady era and all of those teams underperformed mm -hmm. all of those teams, like a couple of those Super Bowls realistically could have or should have been, you know, distributed to other teams. But that's not what happened. Uh, yeah, it's I, I I mean, I agree. There were some some pretty bad missed opportunities. I think two in 10 years is just very hard because I can't even tell you what. And this is, I think, some of the best work we've done on the Sloopcast is predicting well, what's and, going to happen in a few years. You as far it, as conference realignments and we, you know, we were talking about the big two for years before the big two happened. And we were talking about, you know, a possible break off of the big 10 and the sec off into their own league years before anyone else was talking about that. Like you and I, some of our best work we've done on this show is predict like our long-term predictions about the direction of the sport. And I say all of that to say, I don't know what, college football is even going to look like in 10 years. So it's just, but, but you said it, Jared, you, you said it there. It, unfortunate timing of, of Nick Saban coming to power, so to speak yeah. too. He's, and he's gone. He's no, he's no longer there. It, and no, Kirby smart is not the next Nick Saban. No, no, I'm just talking, but they're on a very good streak right now, but they're it, Georgia is, the is not. This is the time to take advantage I agree. Full steam ahead. Full steam ahead. I totally agree. It's just, again, it's very hard to even know what college football is going to look like in five years, let alone 10. So that that's that's my hill. I, Ohio State wins two natties in the next 10 years. If they win one this year, great. They, they got nine more years to win, an, win another one here, but... The other, the other hill here, just minor, and this is more just a, I think it's just comedic at this point here. Ryan, Ryan Day, just like, just like um, uh, Jim Trestle, just like Urban Meyer, will never win the Big Ten Coach of the Year. That's not so much a, I'm going to die on this hill, but we'll, we'll never, we'll never see Ryan Day win Big Ten Coach of the Year. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's, <laughs> that's, uh, uh, that, that, that was a pretty medium take. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's why it wasn't my. Yeah, that's fair. You sandwiched it in between the other two strategically mm -hmm. and I, and I noticed. Yeah. So what's some other hills here from our from our uh, sloop cats that they've posted here. What are, what are some hills that they're going to die on? Uh, S or I have, a, I have a big one from Esquire, but um, we'll save that for a moment. Um, Austin says, here's my hill. Ohio state won't even make the championship game this year. It's once again, very hard to say. Um, I do believe that Ohio state is, I'd say the best team in the league right now. I, that is my honest belief. I think, I, I think that Ohio State's the best team in college football right now. Um, 
And it'll be due to Ryan Day and his big game coaching. I, I think the idea that Ryan Day is a bad big game coach is false. Um, it's that's just false. I don't agree. Um, he beat he beat Clemson when Clemson was at their near peak. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't. It doesn't add up to me. Um, I think he has things in position now. I, I think he has the right defensive coordinator. He has the right offensive coordinator. This is the best defense he has ever had, and it's not close. And the challenge, of course, will be the offense. But I think that between he and Chip Kelly and their offensive creativity, they'll figure out how to work with the guys who they have. Um, I also just don't think that there's anyone better right now. He's won two top five games in his time as a head coach. Okay. He's won two. Like winning top five games, you don't get a ton of opportunity to do that. Seven. And also those games are always going to be difficult. Like it's you're not going to you're not going to have a great record against top five teams too often. Uh, let day high level scheme with Chip Kelly handling the minute by minute offense game management. Yeah. Again, I think all the pieces are in place now. He's got his coordinator on both sides. This is the best coordinator. Uh, it's not even necessarily saying much. But I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll go beyond that. This is the best coaching staff Ryan Day has ever had. Mm -hmm. This is the best defense Ryan Day has ever had. Um, the offense, he's had much better offensive talent in the past. Both on the offensive line and at quarterback. Um, so here, here's the thing, Austin, you, you list those as games he's lost. And Georgia was down to the last play. Clemson was down to the last play. I'm putting the Alabama and the Oregon game strictly on Kerry Combs. Um, that wasn't even a top five, was it? Yeah, and he hired Kerry Combs. It's it is. But whatever, like it, it doesn't. Doesn't matter a lot at the end of the day. It just doesn't matter all that much. I don't think it's that big. I. Again. You're playing against some of the best teams. Again, Georgia was down to a field goal. Um, the Clemson game, Olave turned the wrong way on a route. Uh, it's just, it's just not Ryan Day <laughs> sometimes. I don't know. I feel like you're being overly negative. Um, do we want to? And also, let's just keep in mind of those three Michigan games, they straight up cheated in two of them. How dare you put, how dare you not include an asterisk? They straight up cheated in two of them. All right, we're going to take one last ad break here, and we are, um, we're going to uh, go over Buckeye Esquire's uh, hill here. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be. Be right back to it.
and we're back. Uh, thank you, Kyle. I was totally going to miss that one. Um, here's, uh, here's Esquire's hill that he wishes to die on. He says, I will die on this hill. The spring game format should be one quarter of starters versus starters live scrimmage. No, no touch. No, what's what's the term they, that they use? Thud. No touch, no thud. Actual football for a quarter. I like this. Treat uh, treated like a full game minus hitting the quarterback, of, of, of course. Um, after that quarter, it should be seven on seven for three additional quarters for whatever rotations are sensible given the correct, uh, the current roster. Once again, I'm down. I would love to see some seven on sevens. I think one of the reasons why we didn't get a better look at the quarterbacks in the spring game that we got was strictly because like even in even on a team that has good offensive line depth, which Ohio State does not. But even on a team with good offensive line depth, your second string defensive line is always almost always going to be better than your second string offensive line. Like it is very rare that that will never not be the case. I, that was a double negative, but you know what I'm trying to say. All right, let's keep reading. Um, after that quarter should be seven on seven, three additional quarters rotation. Yada, yada. I already read that part uh, for the big men. See, cause we can't forget about the offensive line for the big men. Uh, I would be open to either a fun field day style competition example, tug of war, dodgeball, shot, put some relay races, um, or dare a series of big man, seven on seven. And just let them have fun with it. Uh, maybe let super young quarterbacks walk on quarterbacks, be all time quarterback, uh, be all time quarterbacks um, for them, or even let the linemen play quarterbacks for themselves. Uh, the competition would be better. Uh, it would be incredibly entertaining. No way Fox would turn this down. Sled pulling, tire flipping. See, we're getting some more options. We're getting some more ideas in the chat. Listen, I'm down. One quarter, full football. No quarterback hitting, but other than that, full football. The skill guys then play some seven on sevens. So you do a drive. You do a seven on seven drive. All right, those guys come off the field. Big guys come back on the time, and it's time to flip some tractor tires. Where's Cade Stover when you need him? I, I like it, except you're not given the opportunity for the linemen to, or bo both both sides, to try to rotate in to get some live scrimmage in. And that and that's essentially what the we spring all... game is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's purely a, a scrimmage there. And, well, he said and, for and the backups, year, I, Austin. I, I mean, I like yes. I, I mean, I, I like the, I like the whole idea of one quarter starters versus starters. Treat it like a live scrimmage. I'm, 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 I'm all for that, and I, and I do like the, I do like the seven on seven and the um, field day for, for everybody else. I, I, I really do like that. But you're not given the uh, opportunity for the non-starters to to do any kind of live scrimmage. God, we all know that the real quote unquote real spring games take place at the Woody. It's the student appreciation day scrimmage, and it's the last practice before the spring game where they do a, a live scrimmage. That's really where that's happening because, you know, they're actually running the offense and they're actually running the defense. That live scrimmage would still happen, but it's still happening in the way it's currently still happening, which is just mm -hmm. at the whack. So I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Personally, the spring game is a spectacle and it's, it is a chance for the players to go play a, a game in the shoe. It's a chance mm -hmm. for, especially 
uh, you know, I always think this is a under discussed benefit of the spring game is that the tickets are cheap. It is such a great opportunity for people who don't make a lot of money or for, you know, someone who has kids but don't necessarily want to pay $200 to buy a ticket for a, a five-year-old who's like just getting into Ohio State and really excited, but also isn't going to sit there for an entire game. You know, even like a six, seven-year-old, you don't want to be buying really expensive tickets necessarily, especially if you don't have it. So it's just, it's a great opportunity to get a bunch of people into the stadium who wouldn't necessarily be able to afford to, or, you know, like I said, if you have, especially if you're like a little kid who isn't going to want to sit there for an entire football game and like, who cares if you leave after one quarter because it's the spring game. Um, that's the real benefit of the spring game for the fans anyway. And the real benefit of the spring game for the players, like I said, does and has been for years already happening at the WAC. Mm -hmm. The spring game's a spectacle. Let's embrace that. I mean, we literally had Joel Klatt. No, it wasn't Joel Klatt. Who was it? Hanging out with Ryan Day during the game, during plays, interviewing him. It was Klatt. Thank you, Esquire. Um, embrace it. I, I thought Fox's coverage of the spring game this year was fantastic. I loved that. Just go full spectacle. Just go full spectacle with it. That's all I'm saying. And I think that's what Esquire's saying. Let's just go okay. full spectacle. We, it's not it's not a real scrimmage and it hasn't been for a very long time. Let's just turn it into a spectacle. Let's get some tractor tires out there. Let's play some dodgeball. Let's pull some sleds. Tug of war has got to happen. Yes, I, I do. Lo do love the tug of war. Imagine getting all of the offensive linemen and all of the defensive linemen. Just going at it. Just offense on one side, defense on the other. Come on. O offensive line would win, by the way. Yeah. Need Gus Johnson calling a tractor pull. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's no actual dirt in the horseshoe to do a tractor pull. <laughs> So you also couldn't do like a you couldn't do like the mud pit for the for the tug of war either, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm just saying it would just go full spectacle with it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. All right. Anything else, Jared? Anything else you want to add on here? Um, no, I think I'm good. Um Although I cannot, Esquire said it, and I'm having a hard time not thinking about it now. I really want to hear Gus Johnson call a tractor pull. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, I know, I know, I know. There's a lot of people just. It's that time of the year. There's no football. Like the draft happened. No college football has their spring camps ended, and now that the uh, transfer portal is gone and over with now just this wasteland the wasteland right now yeah yeah we're, we're but, you, but you know what but you know what jared there's still a lot of good things in, in sports that's happening right now i agree there's i mean you got the nba playoffs are in mid swing here nhl playoffs are in mid swing and my personal favorite jared it's always that two to three months, that two to three months before the Summer Olympics. Starting to see all of these great athletes on, on the track and field there getting all ramped up, ready to go for the for the Summer Olympics coming up here. So I've been I've been really eating at that recently. Oh, 
Kyle loves some. If you're new here, Kyle loves some track and field. It's it's just one of his favorites. <laughs> I, I will tell you, uh, not so much a like up down this hill, but I'm a projection. <laughs> no, no, no Kyle, projection. Die on the hill. Kyle, take an unnecessarily hard line stance on whatever <clears throat> you're about to say. <laughs> just unnecessarily we're gonna, hard we're gonna line see, stance. We're going to see. We're going to see a a U.S. women's athlete win four gold medals on the track this year. Okay. Four medals. Four for gold medals for one U.S. women athlete. Okay. All right. And if anybody, if anybody knows me. You can you can probably guess you can probably guess the athlete. Oh, <laughs> Esquire says, "What events <laughs> call your shot king?" Yeah, Kyle, you're being too vague. What's her name? What are the events? Or at least give us the events. I, I, honestly, here, here here's a here's a funny thing. She she's in she's in she's in um uh the one, one event i can tell you right offhand she's running that hands down she won the gold medal uh four years ago but she's still up in the air of like what other events she'll 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 be doing because she's just that damn good of an athlete she she her her main her main thing her main thing is the 400 hurdles this is like kyle telling us about the girlfriend <laughs> that goes to another school so she she runs she runs the four hundred hurdles defending champion so I imagine you could probably do a quick Google search and Jared's going to find that um, she does can't she can do her the name just say it she she could do she could do <laughs> the open four hundred and she also can do the four by four relay uh, she just started doing the two hundred is and is one of the fastest two hundreds uh, sprinters right now and she's probably going to be doing the the four by four mixed Sydney relay, which is, McLaughlin which is, yeah which is new this year to where the four by four mix. So you have two men and two women uh, running a four by four oh, relay. Really? I didn't know about this. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I like that too. Yeah. Sydney, Sydney McLaughlin. Uh, yeah. Really? I, I just, my projection is that she's going to get four gold medals at the uh, Paris summer Olympics. So in your, you're, you're going to say 400 hurdles. Mm hmm. Yep. 400, 400 hurdles are her staple. She's, she's going, she's going. What all about in, the staple run? No, no. Okay. She, four, 400, 400 is the max said, for her. Just because you said staple. I, I don't even know what a staple yeah. run is. Do, do humans even do that? Or is that a horse thing? No, it, there, there's a, there's a steeple chase. Steeple chase. That's what it is. Listen, he's just that he that's said. A that's a distance. That's staple. a distance event. And I was trying. And by the way, and by the way, if you're if you are all in and want to talk more about the Olympics, come join uh, us over at the uh, in our Discord. Uh, we we have a channel. We'll have a channel just for the Olympics here, and we we'll, we'll we talk we, all about the Olympics. We have the amateur sports channel. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes, yeah, so that's that's my projection. When did the Olympics start, Kyle? Um, a little more than two months from now. It's like middle end of July sometime. Like July 25th or something like that. It's like a mile long. Plus hurdles where you also have to navigate puddles. Mm -hmm. See, that sounds to me like a thing you, you do with a horse instead of a human. <laughs> That's why I <laughs> uh. somehow I knew that. Somehow I kind of knew that, which is why I asked, do humans even run it? All right, Kyle, I think that's the go, end Jared. of this. Here you go. Oh, Here sorry, you go, Jared. All right, all right. See, why, why would you put water on a perfectly good track? Well, thankfully, thankfully, it's not on the track and they just cut. It's in. You know, Jared, it's, we'll just end it. <laughs> it's, it it's on the track inside the main part of the track it might be inside the main part of the track but that's still the track it's the same color as the track it's the track all right this is a serious message needs to get to Thebius asap style event 
That's a marathon joke for anyone playing at home. All right. Uh, that's it. That's the end of today's show. Kyle, I think you already did Kyle's corner talking about the Olympics. Yes. Yep. Sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kyle's already done Kyle's corner. That's the end of today's show. Um, tonight's ending music will be by Harbor. Uh, that's spelled H A R B O U R. The name of this song is run me over. Uh, so with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, sports local podcasters. Once again, this is Harbor. <laughs>